Hey there, Robert Brown, and wherever you are today, I hope that life's treating you well, because you know what? Anything less just won't do. You know that, right? Okay. Listen, today, I wanted to talk to you about depression. Um, I really, really hope that that doesn't affect you, but um, it does affect so many of us. And firstly, you know, this is not kind of a one-size-fits-all video, and I'm not saying that if you watch this video and listen to what I'm saying, that you're, you're going to alleviate any problem or every every problem that you've got overnight you know some some issues some challenges that we face during the course of our life you know they take some time to address and to change into something more supportive more valuable and something that makes us feel better and something that gives us a better quality of life and depression is really really a, a deep subject and and of course um, people get depressed for different reasons but you know what when you peel the layers away then really it comes down to one thing have I got your attention one thing you've got to think about mastering in order to get rid of that depression and that is your communication to yourself what do I mean well essentially nothing and I mean absolutely nothing out there has any meaning whatsoever until you give it meaning. Listen, two people can have um, exposure to the same set of circumstances and can react entirely different. They can feel entirely different about what's just happened. Why? There's no difference, by the way, in the external stimulus. Everything is the same, but the way they feel about it and the way that they react. Why? Well, clearly the difference is in how they communicate what happened to themselves. Now, with depression, what depression is generally down to is a, a habitual thinking pattern that is negative. It's a tendency to focus on things that make you feel bad. It's a tendency to focus on your fears. And by the way, you know, fear. Let's break that word down. False evidence appearing real. You must, you must know, right? You must have noticed during the course of your life that most times when you've been worried about things, they don't actually ever happen. Probably 98% of the time, they never happen. So my question to you is, why the heck are you worrying about it? There is absolutely no point. So what we need to address, what you need to address, if you're one of the people out there that does suffer with depression, is the way that you communicate your circumstances and your experiences to yourself. The meaning you attach to your thoughts and the thoughts that you think. You see, what you need to do over a period of time, at least 30 days, is you need to start to generate more positive, more supportive, more empowering thoughts. And then over the course of around about 30 days, those thoughts will start to embed themselves in your subconscious and they start to become a part of your subconscious makeup, which incidentally accounts for around about 90% of you. So the larger part of you. The part that feels, the part that resonates and is connected to the universal power, to the law of attraction, to all of that stuff. You connect to that and you manifest through that, through your subconscious. And if you want to alleviate uh, depression permanently, then you need to change your association the meanings you attach to the thoughts that you think. Okay, now look, I could speak for hours and hours on this subject, but really all I want you to just go away with today is just the message that you know what, you can fix this. You can feel better and you can have your life on your terms and there is no need for you to get out of bed every morning feeling less than worthy, down, depressed, or out of control. 
because let me tell you my friend you are in control every minute of every day that you walk and you breathe on this beautiful planet that we live on and you need to know that you are in control of your thoughts although perhaps you don't know that or you, you up until this moment you haven't felt that way but let me tell you it's exactly true it's absolutely true and over the next 30 days I want you to consciously every time you start to think about something that makes you feel down immediately think about something that makes you feel happy consciously counteract it with happy and over a course of 30 days your habit will break and the new habit will form continue the practical application of what I've just said and you will reprogram your subconscious, your belief system. And from there, essentially what you've done is you've built a new you. A, you. a you that doesn't get depressed. Why? Because when you're faced with a problem, a challenge, a certain set of circumstances in your life, you don't see it the same way anymore. It doesn't affect you the same. And do you know what, that's all it takes. So again, my message is, you're in control. Don't panic. You're not at the mercy of anything externally. Nothing outside of you can make you feel bad. You've got to allow that to happen. By the same token, in an instant, if you change your mind about that and you make a decision to feel good and to take control of your life and direct your thoughts in a more empowering fashion, you'll have a more positive result and a much, much happier life. That's all I've got to say. Probably far more than I said I'd say, but I'm really passionate about this stuff and I just hope that what I've had to say today has at least impacted you in a positive way and given you food for thought. But listen, don't stop at thinking. Take action and really, you know, get a grip of your life and live to your full potential because you know what? You deserve it. I'll see you again soon.